Welcome to this channel. In this tutorial, we will simulate the gated SR latch using multi-SIM tool. Before that, I request you to subscribe to my channel below. It is always desirable to prevent the input activation signal affecting the state of latch immediately, but rather to have effect occur at a desirable time. So in this case, we prefer a gated SR latch. So a gated SR latch consists of the SR latch along with two additional NAND gates and a control input C. So the enable input C determines when the S and R input becomes effective as long the enable input is 0 and the output of the NAND gate A and B are 1 which in turn keeps the latch in the current stable state. Let us start our design and simulation. Now click on file, click on new and select the PLD design template and click on create. Now click on create empty PLD, click on next and type the PLD design name as SR or gated SR latch and then click on the finish button. Now click on place logic gate and select the two input NAND gate and place four different NAND gates on the schematic window as shown in this tutorial. Now connect the output of NAND gate 3 to one of the input of NAND gate 4 and the output of NAND gate 4 is connected to one of the input of NAND gate 3. Now connect the output of NAND gate 1 to the input of NAND gate 3 and the output of NAND gate 2 is connected to the input of NAND gate 4. Now one of the input of NAND gate 1 and NAND gate 2 is connected to the enable input pin. So this enable input pin will determine when the S and R input becomes effective. Now we have to place the S and R input. So click on the input connector and place two inputs that is S and R. We also require an enable input. So again click on input connector and place an enable input pin which will be C. Connect the input pins that is input 1 to the NAND gate 1 and input 2 to the NAND gate 2. Now name this input pin as S and the other input pin as R.
double click on IO3 and name this as enable which will be our third input. Connect the enable input to the NAND gates. Now click on output connector and place this output connector on the schematic. One will be Q and the other output will be Q bar. So double click on the output pins and change the name to Q and Q inversion. Now click on save. Now click on file and then click on new select PLD design and click on create. Select create empty PLD and click on next and then type gated SR latch block and click finish. Click on the hierarchical block and we will call our gated SR latch block which we had done previously. Now place this on the schematic. Now click on place digital source and we have to place three interactive digital constant. This three interactive digital constant will help us to simulate the low and high signal for both S and R input as well as for the enable input. To determine the output of the working of gated SR latch, we will place a probe. Connect the interactive digital constant which has been placed on the schematic to their respective inputs and the outputs of gated SR latch and also change the name of the toggle as shown in this tutorial. The enable input C determines when the S and R inputs become effective. As long as the enable input is zero, the output of NAND gate A and B is one, which in turn keeps the latch in the current stable state. So any changes on the SR line are blocked and the output is latched to present state and the latch is disabled. When the enable signal is 1, the latch is enabled. When the S and R equal to 0, the latch is in the current stable state but when the input at R is equal to 1, then the latch is being reset. Even if the input to R return to zero, then the latch re retains its present state as described in the first row. Now when the input of one is applied to S, then the latch becomes set regardless of the present state and when the input is one which is applied to both S and R then the latch enters into the unpredictable state. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope this has helped your learning purpose 
request you to like share and subscribe my channel below